Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to week three, day three of the At Home Body Weight Program. Christian and Natalie here. Let's get it started. We're gonna start with our basketball during this warm up. So if you have your ball, grab it. As usual, you guys, any other tool will work or just move with us and use your imagination. Challenge your body weight as much as you can here. So this first move is going to be a figure eight. And then after the figure eight, we're gonna pass the ball behind our back. Okay, behind, behind. And then we'll alternate hands with the figure eight. Okay, so again, let's go right hand underneath first. Come up, and then we'll go behind the back, behind the back. Then I'll lead the next one with my left. Behind the back, behind the back, back to side number one. Once we get that down, let's try to speed it up. Come on, come on. There you go. You got to think about what hand you're using next. You got to keep your eyes up. We're moving that ball all the way around our body. Come on, we've got about 15 more seconds. There it is, nice job, Christian. Keep it up, you guys. There you go. Three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Now, we're going with our split stance. Okay, we're going into a drop squat here. So from this position, we're gonna drive that ball overhead. Okay, let's try to be quick on the way down. Stick our landing, and then find that stability. 30 seconds of work here, alternating sides. Three, two, one, go, go. It's okay to step back up, or you can kinda of hop it back to the middle. But we're really focusing on pushing ourselves underneath the basketball each time. There you go. Good, 10 more seconds. Keep breathing. Let's lock that ball out overhead. Get those shoulders warmed up too. Three, two, one. Very good, very good, okay. Next up, we're going down into our sprinter's lunge. From this sprinter's lunge first, we're just gonna pass the ball around our leg. Okay, let's try to keep our eyes up, chest up. We're just gonna go for 10 seconds one way, 10 seconds in the opposite direction. There you go, three, two, one, and reverse the direction. Good, you can see we're kind of looking right to left, looking up. There it is, three, two, one. Let's switch up sides, okay? Down into our sprinter's lunge, three, two, one, let's go. Let's try to make these circles as fast as we can today. Let's challenge our speed. There it is, three, two, one. Switch it up, other way. Come on, come on, come on. How many circles can you get? Good. Keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, one. Awesome job. We're going back to side number one. Sprinter's lunge. This time, we're rolling the ball on the ground. We're going fingertips here, okay? Just using those fingertips to create the circle. 10 seconds each way. Let's start moving. Maybe feeling that leg burning a little bit as we're sitting low here. Let's try to keep our proud chest and reverse it. Opposite way with the circles here. Same leg. Come on, come on. And the fingertips are just helping us out. Eyes are up. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go, y'all. Keep that breath alive. Stay focused. Stay strong. Speed it up a little bit. Come on. Come on. There it is. Switch it up. Other way. And the ball is staying in contact with the ground. We're just rolling it this time. Three, two, one. One, good work, good work. Okay, we've got our windmills next. Let's go wide with our feet. This time on the windmills today, what we're gonna do is as we press up and the hips push to the side, we come down and then as we stand back to the middle, let's bring the ball back down. Okay, so as the hips press, we're gonna lock out the arm. Three, two, one, let's move. We're just gonna go five times on each side. As you stand tall, bring the ball back down. Press it up as the hips push. And then just keep the ball right on the fingertips here. Again, five reps on one side, and then we'll switch up sides. Beautiful. Set yourself up. And we've got this rotation. Trying to match these movements here. As you come down, the arm extends up towards the sky. Nice job. Control that basketball, control your body. Control your breath. There it is, awesome. And now we're going with fingertips, okay? We're gonna start low here. So let's go low, 
Then you're going to slowly come on up, and then all the way overhead, and then lower it back down. We're going 30 seconds here. Let's try to speed it up today again. Make it speed on these drills for the warm-up here. Fast fingers. If you lose a ball, don't worry. Just meet us back in the drill when you're ready. It just means you're challenging yourself. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Come on. Side to side. Side to side. Let's go. Keep those arms as straight as you can here. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good we'll work. Now, we're going with single leg pogos. Okay, we did some of these the other day. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to kind of throw in what we did during the workout. We're going to go side to side. Okay, so even if you don't have a line, just imagine we're going to be going single leg pogos laterally. Okay, we're going to go for 15 seconds on each leg. Three, two, one, and go. So if you remember, this one's all about being fast. And we're switching side to side, trying to stay pretty stiff so we're not sinking very low with each hop. Three, two, one, good, other side. We're not too worried about how high we're going right now either. We're going right to left, right to left. Come on, get over that line. There it is. Now you tell three, two, one, and relax. Awesome, okay. From here we're going with our 45 degree pogos. We're gonna go both feet here though, turning at a 45 degree angle, okay? Three, two, one, we've got 30 seconds to work. Again, let's try to go fast today. Stay in control of your body, but let's try to pick up that pace. Good, fast off the ground, fast reaction time. There it is. That's halfway, let's go, 15 more seconds. Go work, go work, go work. Keep your mind in it, keep your body moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's pick our basketballs back up. Okay, what we're doing next is we're going single leg hinge, down into our sprinter's lunge, and then standing tall. Challenge though is going to be using the ball to, or sorry, extending your arms overhead with the basketball at any point during this. So you can hold the ball at your chest, or you could work on extending that ball overhead just to get the whole body really working here. We'll go five times on each side. So we've got our single leg hinge, down into our sprinter's lunge, and then back tall. You got it. This one might feel a little bit more challenging, a little bit harder now that we're a little bit more tired than usual when we go through it. That's okay, embrace it. Nice, once you do get five on one side, you guys, We'll go five on the opposite side. Just checking in, right to left. Really trying to own your strength. Own all of these ranges as you move. There it is. Good work, good work. Again, we've got our hinge. And then down into our sprinter's lunge. Trying to take that ball overhead. And then stand tall. Almost there, stay with it. Christian. Just keep it up. Beautiful. Whoop. I've got one more. Awesome. Cool. Last one here is going to be a figure eight with our sprawl. Okay. We have 30 seconds of work. Going in three, two, one. Figure eight. Figure eight. Set the ball down. Sprawl to the ground. Come back to that squat. Again, let's try to switch the direction of the figure eight with each rep. There's no right or wrong. Just try to change it up as you go. Good. That's it. 15 more seconds. Almost done. Nice. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. Good work. Awesome work, guys. I'm feeling warm. I know Natalie is. Hopefully you guys are too, okay? Let's now work into the skill of the day, okay? So a little bit more basketball oriented. Now, the step back, okay? Maybe it's something that's in your offensive arsenal, 
or maybe it's not in your skill set yet, right? Regardless if it is or isn't, today we're gonna go over the mechanics of how we can really ensure that our step back is as technical and as efficient as possible, which is good for our joints, but also good to get some separation for our shot. So we're not gonna dribble today, okay? We're really just gonna work on being able to use one leg, right? Going forward out in front of us at an angle, right? So on this one, I'm not gonna step my foot to face forward and then hop back into my shot. I want my foot to kind of be facing over here, almost like at the side at an angle here, okay? Why am I doing this? This is gonna give me more surface area of my foot in the ground so that I can press harder and therefore create more space rather than facing forward. Sound good, y'all? So here's what it's gonna look like, okay? I'm gonna be here in a square stance facing forward. One leg is gonna go across my body, okay? Across, I'm gonna press on back into my shooting stance in a low athletic position, and then I'm gonna come on up and finish my shot. Obviously, we're inside. We have the roof here. So we're just gonna kind of come on up into a jump shot here, but we're not gonna let go of the ball. If you have the space to let go and follow through, then go ahead and do that. Five times on each side, okay? Nat's gonna go ahead and move. I'm gonna give you a couple cues as you go, okay? Again, let's go five times on each side. Square stance, one leg goes across, and then right into that position, into jump, and then you won't hit your lamp overhead, okay? Yeah, it's up a little bit, sorry. It's all right, go four more times here. Now guys, super important here, okay? And it might be hard for you guys to see facing forward. When Natalie's approaching the ground, she's not going with her chest and her eyes and her shoulders straight down on her leg. Because if she was like this guy's going into the ground before she pushes back, if she was right over her leg, all she's gonna do is jump up. But this right here is more of a forward and back jump rather than an up and down jump. So when you approach the ground in front of you, do not let your chest go right on top of your foot, but rather your foot here should be out in front of you so that you can press away. So I'm not allowing my chest to sink towards my knee. Again, that's not gonna work for me. That's gonna work against me. Let's go five times on each side, okay? I know you got your first side now, right? Yes, yes. Perfect, let's get our second side. So we're gonna go cross, back, into that shooting stance, okay? Now, one side's always gonna be really difficult because you're gonna have to jump and rotate your hips back into that shooting pocket, but that's okay. That's why we're going over this skill. We're not worried about making a shot right now. We're worried about our mechanics. How are we approaching the ground? How are we getting back into that athletic position? Are we on balance? And if not, this is the time to work on it. Two rounds, guys, two rounds we're gonna do this. So once you get five on your right, five on your left, go back to your first side and let's get one more round, okay? Really focus on, again, where is your center of mass and does everything feel fluid? Cross, shot. I'll go four more on that side, side, shot. Again, how are you approaching the ground? Is your chest falling forward or are you at this angle where your foot and your hip is out in front of you? Remember, you wanna to try to create space. Perfect job, man. Nice. Awesome, that's all right. We got durable, in a resilient lamp above us. That's all right. Five on one, and five on the next. Perfect. Nice. Two more. Here we go. Awesome work, y'all. You got five right there now? Yes. Awesome. Okay, we'll go ahead and put down our ball. Now let's get into the workout of the day here, okay guys? Now, we're gonna get into a pairing. So one static, non-moving movement, and then we're gonna get into a dynamic, high intensity movement, okay? 20 seconds of a hold, 20 seconds of a dynamic movement. Three rounds, and then we'll move on, okay? First thing that we have is a single leg squat hold. So now, let's go ahead and go down to the bottom of the squat. We'll have our leg that's not on the ground behind us here. Yep, so Nat will drop down to the bottom of her squat. Everyone's gonna have a different bottom. She's holding flat foot, chest up here, okay? 
Go ahead and relax in that. We're gonna go 10 seconds on one leg, then 10 seconds on the next leg, okay? After we hold for 10 and 10 the movement, guys, is we're gonna be here on the ground, okay? We're gonna be in a push-up position. Now, from here, I can go on my knees or I can go onto my toes. Now, as I come up to a push-up, I'm gonna lift one leg up towards my elbow and then come on back. Again, as I go into a push-up, my knee will come forward towards my elbow. Your knee does not need to touch your elbow, okay? Just bring it up a little bit. Some people are gonna be able to bring it high and touch. Some people are barely gonna be able to lift one leg off the ground. That's okay. You just find what is challenging for you today and we'll alternate from there. So we got 10 seconds holding each leg for our single leg squat. And then we're gonna go into 20 seconds of those push-ups on the ground. Three rounds, guys. Let's go ahead and get to our first leg. We're gonna start here together in five, four, three, one leg, two, put it back, one, and hold. 10 seconds. We're pushing our foot down into the ground as hard as we can. How low can we go? How low can we hold? Two, one, next leg right there. Right into the next leg, 10 seconds, guys. And then of course, right after this, we're gonna go down into the ground and hit that mountain climber push-up. Two, one, straight to the ground. Three, two, one, and here we go. Knee up, push up, knee up, push up. Don't worry about trying to go so low. This is gonna be a lot more challenging than your normal push-up. So just focus on your three limbs in contact with the ground. Three, two, one, Awesome work, everybody. We'll stand up tall. We got round two coming up. The same exact thing. One leg right here. Three, two, one, and here we go. And hold. Try to hold as long as you can here, guys. Keep breathing. Keep holding. We're almost there. Four, three, two. Next side. Here we go. Almost there, guys. Keep pushing. See how low we can go. How low can we hold? Almost there. Three, two, one. Onto the ground, guys. Three, two, one, and push up. Here we go. Remember, knee to the elbow. Can we go on our knees? Yes. Can we just do push ups on our knees? Yes. Find what is challenging for you today and then hang out there. More than halfway. Come on. Five. Four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. We got one more round, just like that. Okay, everyone take a big inhale. Slow exhale. Round three, last time. One leg, three, two, one, and here we go. Holding that single leg squat. How low can we go? How tight can we get? Keep pushing down into the ground. Two. One, halfway, next leg. Keep breathing, y'all. Might lose your balance, that's okay though. Try to find it. Three, two, one, last time. 20 seconds on the ground. Three, two, one, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Keep that breath up. Challenge yourself. Come on. Less than 10 seconds left. Come on. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Shake that off. That was one pairing. Now let's move on to the next, okay? Now, here's what we got now. We have a high plank. Okay, so just like we did now, you want to show them what a high plank looks like. And then we're going to lift opposite arm and opposite foot here. So go ahead and do that now. Yep, perfect. So we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds so on one side. So Nat, can you show them please Look what it would look like? We'll hold one leg and foot up, 10 seconds. Then on our next side, we would hold for 10 seconds. Now remember, that's our ISO. So we're not moving, we're just holding opposite arm and opposite foot off the ground, okay? Then after that, we're gonna stand up tall. We have a double leg squat drop, okay? So I'll start with my feet together, somewhat together, they don't have to touch. I'll start tall, and then I'm gonna let my feet go wide and reach up in the low squat. I'll stand up tall, drop back down, reach those arms up overhead, okay? Of course, 
I can go and hop my feet up and together to make that more dynamic, okay? Let's go to the ground, three rounds. Get into your high plank, okay? Opposite arm and foot, ready? Three, two, one, 10 seconds. Here we go. If you're feeling a challenge, you can't go opposite arm and foot, you can just do what Natalie's doing. Just bring one leg, opposite side, y'all. There's nothing wrong if you can't do your opposite arm and foot. If you can only do one foot or one hand, that's okay. Two, one, step on up. Squat drops, three, two, one. There you go, toes wide, feet wide. When I drop down, I don't want my knees coming in. I want to think wide knees. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a second to breathe. Round two on the ground, okay? Remember, high plank, opposite arm and foot come off the ground, okay? Three, two, one, and here we go. Great job, y'all. Doing great. Keep pushing your hand down. Push the foot down. Halfway, halfway. Keep breathing, y'all. Keep pushing your hip down. Keep pushing your arm down. Two, one. Step on up. Squat drops. Two, one. Halfway. Come on. Keep it up, y'all. Doing awesome. We got to keep pushing ourselves. Got to keep fighting, y'all. Come on. Three, two, one. Last time on the ground. Awesome work, y'all. We're into that high plank. Here we go. Opposite arm and foot. Three, two, one. Here we go. Push that foot down. Push that arm down. Here we go, y'all. Three, two, one. Opposite side. If even having one arm or one foot off the ground is hard, then just hold a normal plank with both feet and both hands. Two, one. Here we go, y'all. Last time. Three, two, one. Squat drop. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We're working. Come on. We're sweating just like you. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, y'all. Take a second to breathe. We got one more pairing here, okay? We have a mobile tabletop hold. So I'm gonna be on the ground with my butt flat. Hands are flat on the ground, both feet are flat. Pop my hips on up. One leg is gonna come up for 10 seconds. Then, last 10 seconds, the other leg. Right after that 20 second hold, I'm going back to this high plank, okay? Now, from a high plank, foot up into a mountain climber. Pick up that same side hand. Now, let's make a little bit of room for our back leg to come off the ground behind us and kick in front of us. Come back into that mountain climber, foot goes back, and then again, next side, mountain climber. Pick up the hand, bring that back leg through. Come on back to mountain climber, then back to that high plank. Okay, everybody? Three-legged or three-limb mobile tabletop hold. 10 seconds each side, then the front kick you, okay? Three, two, one, and here we go. Keep breathing, y'all. Push those feet into the ground. Push your hands into the ground. Squeeze your glutes up towards the ceiling. And halfway. Here we go, almost there. Keep breathing, 10 seconds, y'all. Come on, almost home. Three, two, one. One high plank position, guys. Front kick through. Three, two, one. Mountain climber. Hand kick on through. Come back again. Mountain climber. Hand kick on through. Mountain climber. Hand kick on through. Again, mountain climber. Hand kick on through. We're almost there, guys. Less than five, four, three, two, one. Take a second to breathe. Round two, mobile tabletop hold, guys. One leg on, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's breathe and hold here. Try to drive your foot in the ground. Try to keep tension through this leg that's not on the ground. Three, 
two, one, switch up sides, y'all. 10 seconds, come on, keep it up. Pushing down, squeezing your glutes, and time. Mountain climber, guys, three, two, one, front kick through. Here we go, guys, straight two, come on. Challenge yourself today. Get yourself out of your comfort zone. Come on, you gotta dig deep here today. Some of these movements are new for you. Perfect, that's exactly why we're here to get better with something new, challenging, and fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, one more round, then we're all done, okay? Almost there. Three, two, one. One leg, here we go. Drive your foot down, drive your arms down, and breathe. Three, two, one, halfway, we're almost there. Come on, Nat. We got to go. Come on, ladies. Come on, fellas. Everybody joining us. Come on. Two, one. Get right into that mountain climber. Three, two, one. Let's kick. Come on. Stay tight. Arm locked out. Your legs staying tight as you kick it out in front of you. Here we go. Almost there. Halfway. Come on. Come on. Ten seconds. We got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Great job, though. Way to challenge yourself. Way to put yourself in an area of discomfort. When we're going through these workouts, it's one thing just to go through the motion, y'all. What we're looking to do, though, is we're looking to push ourselves and put ourselves in some area of discomfort. Because it isn't about how we feel during the workout. It's about how our body is adapting over time. And if we want to keep adapting at a high level, we got to be able to beat ourselves up sometimes, just like this workout. Now, Nat's going to take you through the decompression to finish off the workout. All right, you guys, so let's come on down to the ground. Let's go hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. What we're going to do here is our inhale as we reach up towards the sky, and then exhale, thread this arm through the opposite arm. Let's alternate sides. So we'll go opposite side, reach up. And then reach on through. Beautiful. Two more times each way. Big inhale. And slow exhale. Other side. Inhale. Slow exhale. Last time each way. Awesome. Finish it out. Beautiful. And our last stretch from just a standing position, let's go ahead and grab our foot or our ankle, drive our knee down towards the ground here as we drive our hips forward. So getting this nice lengthening along the front side of our hip and our quad. Three inhales, three exhales in and out through the nose. Just checking back in with how you feel. Reflecting on what maybe felt easy today, what felt hard. We'll finish it out other side. And let's try to stay tall. Drive this hip forward or squeeze your glutes here as you drive your knee down towards the ground. There you go, two more breaths. Awesome, last one. Shake all that off, pat yourself on the back. Excellent job, you guys. Before we go, we gotta leave you with our journal prompt for the day. Now today, I want you to make a list of people that you are grateful for. This could be you know, two people, up to 20 people if you want. And then I want you to choose one of them that you can reach out to and you can actually send them a message to thank them for whatever it is that you are thankful for because that little act of kindness can go a long way and you can possibly make someone's day. So try that out, share it out with us if you can, and we'll see you here tomorrow.